So seems like I'm having a good day today. Updated the insurance, but the car has died. We are calling it 11. There's no bumblebee. There is no yellow ninja. This is a lemon, guys. Here we go. The car is being loaded up right now. <laughs> this is so fast. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> right this is crazy! <laughs> what is up everybody and welcome to a brand new video. And today it's not gonna be something political. It's about Thailand and as you guys know, when I was a kid I went to school in Ireland. And I really miss the chippy shops. And when I say chippy shops, it's basically when you go in and you buy yourself a bag of chips, a battered sausage, and stuff like that. So today, we are gonna try our best to find a good alternative to that. Maybe we'll find a chipper here. Well, actually, I found a chipper and a pub, but we're gonna go to a pub and try it out. Also, it is raining outside, so you could actually breathe in some air. And I have to update the insurance on my car because I got some new plates, so me and Evelina, are gonna do that right now. I swear this is real Porsche, I swear. Oh, my whole car is in, oh, it's dirty. What happened to my car? <laughs> so dirty, it's from up there, it came up down. Anyways, let's go. I also need to get the C dry clean because somebody was sweating in it for 30 years and it smells disgusting and my shirt smelled disgusting after sitting in it, so Tomorrow, hopefully, I'll get a dry clean when I don't need like a car for the whole day because it is nasty. Anyways, let's go and check out. Are we able to find some good British food around Pattaya? Also, last live stream, a guy called Yozik has donated 50 bucks. Thank you very much for the support. It didn't go up on the live stream because I was streaming, walking all around the place. And his question was, is, are you enjoying Thailand so far? Because I'm thinking of moving to Phuket. I don't know about Phuket, but I'm really enjoying life in Thailand. Very good place, very enjoyable. I think a lot of people would enjoy the place. It's great, it has a big variety of foods, big variety of things to do, a lot of fun activities, family activities, single activities, all sorts of activities. Just came over to an insurance place and I noticed how dirty my car is because of where it was standing. Look at all this dirt, guys. But weather like this is good because you could actually breathe in some fresh air and it feels absolutely amazing. Anyways, got my blue book, got my insurance. We're gonna go into tick insurance and get ourselves updated on the insurance. So seems like I'm having a good day today. Updated the insurance, but the car has died. I don't know what's going on with it. Yeah, it does not want to go anywhere. Yep, no point in that. Let's go check out what's under the hood. Thank God I'm beside the house. What is the problem? So, the people who said I bought a money pit, I guess um, you might be right, but I don't know what the heck happened to the car. What do we got in here? Why is this thing not starting up? There must be some sort of a wire that probably came off somewhere. What could it be? Well, there's a strange wire right there that was supposed to be plugged in somewhere, but all this time I was driving around, it wasn't, so can't be this. No, what's going on here? As I wanted to have some chips, and that battered sausage, this is what happens. It feels like the fuel is not going into the engine. So it feels like there's just like not enough fuel coming in. So maybe the gauge is like completely broken because it's showing me half a tank or the whole fuel system is clogged up because it is trying to catch and start. So let's sniff the gas. Now it smells like there's some gas inside. Flip an egg. What am I gonna do now? I have no idea. The good thing is I'm not far away from home. 
The second thing is I need to get my car to the repair place, I'm guessing, because I am stranded now and I have no idea what to do and I am starving as well. So two bad news in a second. It's funny the way I thought, what am I going to record today? I have no idea. I thought it's a good idea to record a place where you could eat some chips. So you guys who are planning to go to Pattaya or live in Pattaya would know a place to go. But instead, we'll find out how to get this car to a repair place. Well, instead of the chippies with a battered sausage, I'm going to be having sandwiches at 7-Eleven because I'm starving. And I'm trying to figure out where to bring my car, how to bring my car, because I have no idea. It's broken down. It doesn't start up and I have no clue what's wrong with it. Well, I messaged a bunch of people trying to figure out what to do with my car. Meanwhile, eating a 7-Eleven sandwich. Some guy taking a whiz. Very nice. Nothing better than taking a whiz in public. And I gotta say, my girlfriend is sitting right here. Guy's taking a whiz. So my American friend gave me a contact of a repair shop and they actually have a tow truck. So he's gonna pick me up and the car. I just sent Evelina on the taxi back home because what's the point of her suffering with me? I'll suffer by myself. It was my you know, grown-up decision buying this lemon right here. We're calling this car a lemon, guys. We are calling it a lemon. There's no bumblebee. There is no yellow ninja. This is a lemon, guys. We're calling this car a lemon. It's a lemon. It's an absolute lemon. And we're going to see what's up. But I'm guessing it's something to do with a fuel pump or something like that. Because, you know, it's been a bit acting a bit weird. So, yeah, I guess... Uh, We'll wait for my lemon to get picked up. Wow, the rescue have arrived without me noticing. Hello, my friend. Hello. I was talking to you on the phone, yeah? You're the savior. <laughs> what happened? He's a magician. I was trying here for like half an hour. I think something wrong with the fuel pump, maybe. I think so. What the heck? I was trying for like an hour. <laughs> because I started it this morning Oh, here we go Yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well, yeah Yeah, see It gets hot and then stops and the starter is dying. <laughs> yeah, you need to go quick. Okay, I think you're not fully up because you have pressure. Yeah. You have something with the system. I guess we can push it and then get it over here. You want to put neutral? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's push it back. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you, he started, I'm like, what? Impossible. <laughs> and then it died, I'm like, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> we, oh. we can go, I think. Oh. No? Oh, this is nice. We're saved. I don't know where we can put it there. <laughs> I, I think we need to push. Uh, Maybe. Yeah, but where are we gonna put? Your your uh, repair shop is called 46 Garage, yeah? Oh, so guys, if you are in a situation like me, I asked my one of my friends to help me out, get the car out, and he gave me the contacts of 46 Garage. So they arrived quickly. They're like, send the location, we're coming. So if you're stuck and you don't know who to contact, just type in 46 Garage and uh, you'll be set. The guy said my fuel pump was probably dead, so. Here is the money pit. So here we are strapping on the car to get it revived and sort something out with it. Here we go, the car is being loaded up right now. Look at this, like the car rolls back. This is really cool, I've never seen a uh, tow truck like this. 
wow, it, it, it's really at a high slope. Look at this. Holy smokes, this is crazy. But really cool. And off we go <laughs> to see how much this is gonna cost. Probably too much, but uh, can't be without a car, right? That's what you get when you get a lemon. <laughs> Let me get in. <laughs> Well, guys, I'm in the back of a tow truck. You can see the tow truck right here. I'm wiggling and wobbling around the place. I really hope that they strapped this thing. I really hope they did. But uh, I could wave at people, you know, show them that I'm flipping, just riding around in my car, you know, but uh, this is like a big, big truck now. I'm like driving an Escalade once again. Holy smokes, those guys are ripping it in the tow truck <laughs> they are ripping it holy smokes <laughs> this is so funny this is so funny this, this feels really illegal but really fun at the same time it's like i'm having a yeah, city tour you know having a city tour to be waving at people honking at people you know without don't even need to waste any fuel you guys might be wondering how much it costs to get the car towed. 1,500 baht, which I don't think is a bad deal, to be honest with you. In Russia, it would cost way more. <laughs> Everybody's like, what the heck is going on? <laughs> you can see people in the back and I'm just, you know, chilling out here. The guys from 46 Garage were like, you could either ride with us or you could make content out of being in your own car. <laughs> I wonder, is it like, can you drink and drive this way, like in the back? I don't know, but this is too funny. This is too funny. Anyways, let's go and see what's up with the car. The guys themselves are having a blast inside that tow truck. But uh, yeah, people are just waving and <laughs> it's just fun. I love Thailand, it's great. And we have arrived. I actually saw this car for sale on Facebook Marketplace, I think. Holy smokes, guys, this is, this is too funny. This is just way too funny. <laughs> Ooh, that was really fun. <laughs> it's okay, I jump. <laughs> oh. Oh. Anyways, made it back, made it back. Look at this thing. I saw this on Facebook Marketplace. It has the exact same engine as my one. But this looks dope. I like it. Anyways, this is the garage where we have come to. So we've arrived at 46 Garage. I was actually checking out this car on Facebook Marketplace and another guy bought it. It has the exact same engine that my Sephiro has, but it has a nice spoiler in the back. Yeah, this, I was, I was looking at it, but the guy didn't reply to me. That's really cool. 1JZ BMW. Also twin turbo, by the way. So so let's check out what 46 Garage has. This is crazy. What is this, a, a Chevrolet Colorado or what is it? Yeah, yeah. Like yeah? Chevrolet Colorado, but the engine is same Isuzu. Oh, because, Isuzu. Yeah, because this model is built in Thailand and sell in Thailand. Oh. It's have an Isuzu and bad idea. Yeah, can you but, not put a mesh on it? But it can you put mesh on Everybody there? like this because it's dangerous, when, yeah. when, when you do like this, yeah. now it's better. Yeah, no, I'm thinking like logically, you get one bit of like sun. Yeah, and then some just, yeah. dirt or something, everything you can yeah, put no, inside. No, no, but no. bad idea, but yeah. famous when so the, how the much, guy in Thailand do it. How much horsepower does it have? It's around 400. 450. Oh, wow. I race you. You know a race? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> this is a D-Max engine, right? Ah, right. Yeah, everybody so, in Thailand loves D-Max. Uh, another one outside, uh, same engine. Which, uh -huh. which wheel? Just power the back wheel. One or two. Let's check out the inside. Look, at it. it has a crazy sound system here. Sports Recaro uh, seats right here. Oh my god, this is really cool. Wow. This looks legit. You can see the guys working on this 400 horsepower D-Max engine in Suzu inside of this Chevy right here. They really like the D-Maxes here. You can see there's an oil, there's a fuel leak in there, but this turbo is huge. Oh, oh, oh. 
<laughs> this thing will rip off some asphalt for sure. Huh? Oh, nice. <laughs> We're going for a spin in this Chevy with an Isuzu engine. Let's check it out. <laughs> you, you tried it before? No. Did you know? No. Nope. No habit. No? No. No. I want to see how it is. <laughs> no. Let me... No habit. Oh, no habit. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. You, you tried before this Yeltsin? Uh, only BMW had diesel. Ah, not so, same. Yeah. This is different. Different, different a lot. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it has so much torque. Yeah, yeah. a lot of torque because it's diesel. Yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> this is so fast! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> wow! I'm not saying the, the pressure engine. Yeah! The pressure engine that's your car, it's your JC. When, when it's calm, it's good like... Yeah, this like, go... Wah, but this wah. one... Yeah, yeah, like yeah very fast. Is really short, it's really short. Yeah, really short. <laughs> <laughs> it's good camera three bar. Three bar, wow. Yeah, because the diesel is original diesel. Yeah, it already has a lot of torque and yeah. with this. Like that. When the original diesel in Thailand boosts around fifty pounds. Oh wow. Boost is allowed one bar. Yeah. Yeah, but this one is three bars. Wow. But this one is dual turbo also. It's a small one, it's made Oh and the big bar. one. Oh it's small one is four bar and the bigger one three bars. Wow, so it's a dual turbo. Yeah. Guys, this is crazy. This is some Thai pickup trucks for you. <laughs> yeah, just have a one, 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 one favorite guy in Thailand, the uh, bird. Yeah. Well, like how we made uh, the small engine like this to America for making drag. Really? Yeah. Wow. Uh, he, I think he go around big on nice section for quarter miles. Wow, that's he crazy. The small engine like this. Wow, so it's a small engine but very, very torquey yeah, and like fast. That. Yeah, it's just. But this car have the air condition. Wow, yeah. Yeah, just have it. So you can drive every day. Yeah, it's <laughs> daily car. Daily but it's, car. it's like, uh, you know, you have to shift like fast and furious here. <laughs> very fast. <laughs> you can die right a normal car, daily car, you can drive. Yeah, it. why did I buy Sephiro? I needed to buy like this. <laughs> <laughs> this is really cool. Wow, you... uh, some guy like to do auto ball like this, but uh, my my stuff in my shop, yeah, he have a uh, Isuzu also, but a uh, bigger travel, yeah, three Ds, and it's even six. faster, yeah, but single travel. Oh wow! When boost is coming, it's very crazy. <laughs> I like the turbo lag when you drive and then go wow, you know. Yeah, like it. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> like this. this is crazy. <laughs> I'm literally being like pushed back like this. <laughs> like that. like that. That's but it's a lot of torque. Yeah, so much torque. <laughs> when you look at this uh, truck, you think it's normal, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you're it's like normal. Yeah, and then when you drive it, it's crazy. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I, I, I don't think I've ever been in a car that goes like this, you know? <laughs> because uh, the Thailand guys, he want to buy the truck because it's cheaper. Yeah. And the truck in Thailand, you just remapping, change the exhaust. Is have a lot of fun because yeah. easy for making. Yeah, and cheap as well. Yeah, cheaper, cheaper than car. Cheaper than the, the petrol car. Yeah. Yeah, cheaper. And also diesel is cheaper. Sure, it's cheaper. Everything is cheaper. Now it's 
you can buy some shop for remapping is maybe 1,900 baht. Wow. <laughs> pretty cheap, pretty cheap. But the June now, I don't know. Yeah. But we have be June in 3,000. But how much baht. do you think it will cost for a person to come to Thailand? buy a truck and make it same power as this all together how much do you from, think from the engine like this but not the dual turbo yeah we will make the, not not accept the car we yeah buy the car right just the engine like this maybe fifty thousand so fifty thousand and how much do you think it will cost to pick up uh, to buy a pickup like you know all... three thousand three thousand one thousand is heaven oh so what the model you want to do so you can uh, make a very fast pickup for a hundred and fifty thousand baht yeah somewhat like that. That's like crazy. That. That's very really easy. But, so that, but the model of the car also, when you buy the easiest to a new model, is around 800,000. Right? Yeah, the new one. is second hand car is 200,000. Yeah. 50, 300. Uh, some car have a view, have a shock up, have a something a little bit make it. Yeah. Turbo, uh, high pressure pump, something like that. There's a detail of the car. So it's thing. it's crazy. For $4,000, you can have a race <laughs> pickup truck. Yeah, but when you want to race, from this truck, you just make the low bar. Yeah. Change the seats, put the suits, and go to service. Yeah. Only need you need a roll bar here and the seat right to there. go like this. Right there. And that's it. You need the bell for the racing bell, Takata, Sabel, everything. Yeah. everything. And, the and it's also cheap in Thailand, the tack at the seat belts and everything. Right. Because it's cheap, but it have a duplicate. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's still good. But when you use in the the small, small list, yeah. what you can do when you use in the Thailand Super City, you cannot do. You just use only the original. Oh, really? Oh. If I hit 100%. Oh, I see. Just, just the suit up and helmet, maybe 100,000. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 But when you so, go to the small list. So it's cheaper to buy a a pickup truck very fast than to buy a suit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really oh, but this thing is crazy. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. It is so crazy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of talk. It's really fun. Really fun. You will make your surfy roll the single trouble with bigger one. Yeah, yeah and it'll be like this, this. yeah. <laughs> Guys, it seems like I came to the right place. 46 garage. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, this and it's one, this one. yeah. Right here, guys. 46 garage <laughs> on 46 streets. Come over here. <laughs> and I know a lot of you guys live in Pattaya. So if you have a car, bring it here. If you have a pickup truck, bring it here so it's going to be driving like a real racetrack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we do everything. We do maintenance, normal car. Normal yeah, like car, change car. oil and change. Everything. Yeah. Everything. Maintenance, brake, clutch, choke up. Yeah. Performance. So like yeah. if somebody has a Mitsubishi a trash, they can come and you can... Yeah, I can do. remap it. Yeah. So remap it and change to the E20. Any car, come here and you get fixed up. This is sweet. And I've never been in a fast pickup truck like this in my life. So thank you very much, bro, yeah, for bringing me. This is one heck of an experience. <laughs> and this is how it looks like from the outside, guys. So you would understand. It literally just looks like a normal pickup truck. A bit lowered, but this is crazy, guys. Oh, oh look at that! <laughs> I doubt that the green piece will like it, to be honest with you. <laughs> look, guys, it's a normal Isuzu, but it's not. But it's not. <laughs> For sale. For sale. <laughs> You're selling it. <laughs> so guys, if you want to buy the car, then... Ah, you <laughs> there. my stop car, you will see the engine base. Oh, wow. Yeah, but that, that frame art, guys, Thai people buy yeah. the Isuzu. Oh, wow. A lot of things you can make it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, guys, this is crazy. The D Max game is crazy up in this place. <laughs> guys, this is this is crazy. This is a place to be, I swear. This is crazy. This is really cool. <laughs> but this looks nice as well. And you not spend 
How, how much would this truck cost? Maybe 150, 120. 150, 120. <laughs> wow. Same price. Yeah, same price. <laughs> this D Max is nice. This one is a VTEC. Uh, oh, yeah. 18, but turbo. Oh, VTEC with a turbo. Yeah. Wow, this is really fast. Guys, I've never seen so many fast pickup trucks in one place. <laughs> okay, guys, let's check out the VTEC turbo right here. <laughs> no more <laughs> VTEC turbo. <laughs> yeah, this VTEC turbo is the F55 turbo from Garage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, from Credit, sorry. Yeah, Garage turbo, Gretty. yeah? Credit, Oh, G-Ready. Oh, G -ready. yeah, yeah. G-Ready, F55. Wow. Yeah, and have a WestGate. But this one is copy part because the consumer, he wanted. He just have money like this. But yeah. if you want to choose the uh, cheaper part, yeah. we can do. But that. it's still. Yeah, but, but still have it. but. This is you, really. When you use the the wastegate duplicate pass, you yeah. will know it's not controlled smoothly. Yeah. yeah. When you make the boost, you will have the electric control boost also. Oh, I when see. When you use turbo smart, no problem. Yeah, like that. Yes, we take turbo. This is probably really crazy, yeah. Yeah, a little bit, but automatic transmission. Oh yeah, I like. Yeah, manual is better. Yeah, guys, maybe we'll put a uh, manual in my car. Then it's going to become really fun. And well, the rear differential like we did on the Lada that I built in Russia, go sideways around this place. Go on the bureau circuit and go sideways. I think my car is going to be unloaded right now. Guys, <laughs> this is like me being in a toy store when I was a kid. It's amazing. It's so good. Here we go. My car is getting unloaded now. Ah. So the car started up and uh, we think that it might be something to do with the gearbox sensor seeing that it's not in the right gear and that is why it is stopping so let's see what's up with it is it a money pit or not also they told me that it's good to remap my engine to ethanol because ethanol fuel is cheaper in thailand and it runs cooler and has more power so i'm definitely remapping to ethanol as well and also here we could redo the exhaust so we don't have that much drone and it sounds nicer. So I think I found a spot. I think I found the right spot for the car. So they're cleaning out the uh, transmission place because they think there is a problem with the sensor. So we're gonna see what's up. And my gearbox is leaking a little bit. So very nice to know. Okay, so we got some sort of a thing in the back here. So what is this? Can you tell? Oh, this is a, a pressure. Because uh, I see the regulator is uh, the pressure is very good, and so the fuel is coming in. Yeah, yeah, like that. And sometimes you talk to me about when you put the the, the gas too much the gas, you will smell the gas. Yes, and yes. And sometimes it's not smoothly from the engine. I will check for the air ratio is good or not. Sometimes it leaks. Sometimes it leans. When something leans. Oh, so I it might that. be running lean. So that yeah. is the thing you got there, right? Yeah, AM. AM. Oh, very AM nice. America. This is really cool, bro. <laughs> because, you know, every place you go, everybody's like, oh, we don't know, we don't know. You come here, you have everything. <laughs> when, 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 when my shop say, I don't know. Yeah. That's I don't know. <laughs> when we want to check, I will check it Because first. before you, I've been to three different garage. Right. And they all are, oh, we don't know, we don't know, we don't know. <laughs> and here you have this, that, everything, you know? Even crazy D-Max. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, let's see if we're running lean or not. Oh, so we got the thing connected. Air to fuel ratio. Yeah. When you put in the first time, it will heat it up, the oh. sensor. Oh. The normal car is still around 40.7. 40.7. So if it's running more, yeah. then it's too much. Yeah. Wow, that's low, yeah? Yeah, it's too well. Yeah, too low. Yeah, Very too low. low. Too well is leech. Yeah. Oh no, leech. Yeah, so little. Leech. So it needs more fuel. Yeah, this more fuel now. Oh. When it's 14.7, it's Oh, normal. it needs to be 4. Yeah. Oh, and it's 12. Oh, yeah. I thought you said yeah, 40. It's it's wow, so that's so too much. Wow, guys, so my car has too much gas coming in. Th this, those guys are crazy, guys. They know everything. I'm so glad I found it. Wow, that's a lot. 
Could it be possible that it's running hot because it has too much fuel, yeah? Yeah. It's running hotter than right, you... Yeah. When, when the petrol, when you too much fuel, it's hot. But yeah. when you less of fuel, it's hot also. Oh, I wish I came to you because I was asking in Storm Garage about this. And they're like, you only need vented hood. <laughs> It's all about the fuel, guys. I can't believe it took, well, at least I found the right place to get my car done. And I am so glad because I'll be able to drive around and know where to fix the car now. Hopefully they'll get the problem solved. I know guys, you're fed up with watching this, but we're gonna see how the spark plugs look like inside of my car and see if it's running lean or low. My car looks like an operation room right now with all the guys who are working on the car. It's pretty nice, you know? I like the way in this place they actually talk to you, explain everything they do, show everything. This is top level stuff. Top level stuff. And uh, they know everything about this engine, seems like. So I'm gonna be leaving the car here until tomorrow because they found out that the, uh, the seal on the top head gasket is actually leaking into the spark plugs they're not too hot yeah you can pick it up it, it's got oil on it you could kind of come on are you gonna focus anyways it's got oil so i'm leaving the car here so tomorrow they could change the seals uh, on the valve also uh, change the light bulbs because those light bulbs are yellow and they just do not shine any light whatsoever and also put like a muffler in the middle of the system so there's not gonna be a drone because the drone is just too crazy. Also, I wanna do a wheel alignment tomorrow and maybe get the seats removed from the car and uh, get them dry cleaned. Well, I am definitely not gonna give up on what we started the video with and we are going to the pub to have some chips with Evelina. So hopefully it's gonna be good. And obviously, since I lived in Ireland, I miss the Guinness sometimes and supposedly they have it there. So we're taking a taxi there. As you know, we left the car over at the repair station to get a lot of stuff done on it. So can't wait to have a bit of food. So we have arrived over to Robin Hood. Let's go and finally get some food because I only had a sandwich today. Two sandwiches from 7-Eleven and I am absolutely starving. Evelina has found some coconut bowls. Look how beautiful Evelina is. Let's go and check out how good this place is. Is the battered sausage and Guinness good in here? Do they have it? I don't know. Let's wait for the Guinness to infuse itself with the goodness. Well, let's see if they have the proper stuff here. Mm. The goodness of Guinness. Nothing better than a pint of Guinness with some chips and battered sausage. So, time to wait for that because I'm starving. Wow, I truly did get some jumbo battered sausages. Got some mushy peas, got some curry sauce. You can see Evelyn already trying the stuff out. Let's see if it is, no. Let's try out the fries. You know what? This is not chipper fries, but it's still good. Now it's time to try the jumbo sausage. Let's try the Jack Daniels burger. Mmm. Well, Evelina got a burger and it's very good. Very good. Okay, let's try out this jumbo sausage, guys. I did not know it was gonna be that big, but I am really hungry, so. Yeah, this is totally different from like the way it's supposed to be, but let's try it out. But you know what, guys? It's not that bad. It's, you English guys and Irish guys will know that this looks definitely different from the way it's supposed to look like but it's still very tasty really good anyways bon appetit to a rosini right now well this robin hood place gets a sign of approval because that is the closest i've eaten to like an irish chipper in another country so if you want to go in they even have vinegar there and i put some vinegar on the chips put some salt on and enjoy that type of stuff if you've never tried chips with vinegar and salt you haven't been to Ireland or England it is so good I love it anyways no car but we're walking around the place we are back home thank you very much all of you for watching this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it and if you did 
please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, comment on what you think about it, and join our Discord chat in the description below. See you later, guys.